Have you ever had a tenant not pay rent at your property? This is what we do at Marta Management to make sure that we take care of that the very best that we can. Uh, my name is Chad Belair. I'm our client services manager here at Marta Management. And when it comes to our rent collection process, there is a lot that goes into it, um, both on the personal side as, as well as the data side. Uh, so as it relates to our rent collection, we start towards the fifth of the month, actually kind of reviewing our rent unpaid reports. Through that process, there are a, a variation of tactics that we use. As we look at these reports month to month, we do tend to get familiar with, you know, some of our tenants that do tend to make their payments later, or maybe they have a different sort of a payment arrangement rather than paying directly on the first of the month. 99% of our tenants are, are, are made to pay on the first of the month. Um, so towards the fifth of the month, we do start to look, making uh, contact with those folks that, you know, maybe they had straggling payments or um, didn't realize that their bank account didn't have sufficient funds for those automatic transfers. Um, whatever the case may be at that point, we do start to follow up directly with tenants. And through that process, there's a myriad of tactics that we use. And mainly the way that we do get those amounts paid is through just general communication. So we start off by sending a, a bulk email out to anybody that has arrears of $500 or more. Um, that is usually a catch all for anybody that owes something significant enough that would pose a cash flow problem to an investor. And then once we start getting towards that one month of rent, um, owing, that is when we start making those individual phone calls with folks and either making arrangements with them, payment plans, as well as starting to issue N4 forms, which, do, which does speak legally to the non-payment of rent um, for any given period of time. Once we start to make our way through that process in issuing the N4s, we usually do have a lot of people reach back out in response to either our follow-up or the N4 form issued. Um, and in that, we, we, we sort out about 99% of the, the rent that is owing, um, whether that is the tenant reaching out to us to make a, an agreed upon payment plan, or them just saying, you know what, I didn't realize that that payment didn't go through, let me send that right now. And the most important thing through all of that is our record keeping. Um, any conversation that we have with a tenant um, does result in a note being entered in on their file. And their ledger is also updated in real time, which is available to you as an owner in the owner portal. Um, as, as we're talking about those payment arrangements, those are also something that we set into an integrated calendar within our own system so that we then have the ability to follow up on those payment arrangements to ensure that they're being made. Most of the time when there is a payment arrangement made, we would hold off from filing the actual legal forms as there is a cost to that to, to an investor. And if we have faith in, in a tenant that they truthfully are gonna, are gonna get that taken care of as outlined, um, that would be something that we would go back to the owner and you know, kind of update them on and, and take the opportunity to also get their feedback on what they're wanting to do for their specific property. When we do get to the point of where an N4 has been issued and there has been no payment received, we then wait the 14 days required um, from the issuance of the N4. And then once that 14 days has elapsed, unless the balance has been paid in full, we do then have the option to file with the landlord and tenant board. If we're not confident that that matter is going to be sorted, we, we will move ahead just because we are all familiar with the current climate of the LTB it does take six months to a year um, from start to finish through the legal process. Even once an N4 has been filed, we still do continue to follow up with the tenants individually. Part of our process internally is, is eviction mitigation. So even once we've filed for somebody's eviction, um, there are plenty of opportunities through that course of time that they can you know, work with us and start paying an amount. And if they can demonstrate that they can make those payments moving forward, um, once we actually do get to the hearing, we would then have the payment plan issued into an order, which would be enforceable by the LTB. And in doing that, we insulate ourselves as well as the property owner moving forward if there are any other problems. Similar to any other LTB order, that order would be breachable if, if the tenant were to not make their payments. And from there, we do handle it on an individual basis on whether or not we would file for the additional eviction should the tenant fail to make their their outline payments. Um, but all throughout that process, the, the most common thing with us is reaching out to tenants personally. We always wanna make sure that we're demonstrating to the board 
um, even once we do get to hearing that we've made plenty of attempts and reasonable repayment plan proposals to the tenant to better make sure that when we do get to hearing that we get the results that we need and that we have the records to back up what we've done. One other thing that we also do is we, we do send out uh, they're called demand to pay letters to individual tenants and a property manager will personally deliver these to a tenant's property. And these are used for when we've not been able to make the contact that is required in order to make a repayment plan. And this is us basically going to the tenant and with the current situation, the current amount owing, and again, trying to foster a relationship with the tenant in order to get this solved outside of court. It's in nobody's best interest for us to wait until the time of eviction from the time of filing and have nothing happen in between. Um, we always wanna make use of that time either in order to help solve the situation faster than what um, the landlord and tenant board could, or to make sure that when we do get to that portion of the process, that we have everything backed up well enough and enough evidence to show that an eviction should be granted in that case. So a common question that we get as it relates to anybody that is owing rent is how long does the process take? Of course, you wanna know that. It's important for your cash flow and you know in these economical times rent has never been more important um, to sustain your investment it's never ideal to have to come out of pocket but especially in today's climate um, with interest rates and everything like that our team is constantly being asked how long how long through that there is no easy answer to to say to address all cases as every case is individual um, the board has the discretion to move things up and to you know, push things as far back as they see fit, given the specific circumstances. So typically right now, from, from the time of filing to either a successful eviction or a payment order, we're seeing between six months to a year um, from the time of the N4 being issued, filed, and then we get our first hearing um, in which our, our paralegal would attend that hearing with all of the evidence that we at MARTA have been cataloging over the time of us following up with the tenant directly. And that's those notes from those call, those rent calls, um, any copies of any letters delivered to the tenants, um, as well as communication and commitments that the tenants made back to us. Here at Marta Management, we do have a 99% rent collected rate every month, and that is our key KPI that we look to hit every single month. With that said, there's still that 1% of tenants that are either struggling to make their rent payments or are late um, on a, on, during that given month. Um, that of course is not ideal for those few investors that do have to deal with that, but rest assured, um, our team at MARTA Management gives top priority to rent collection and rent collection matters. And it is a very serious thing for us in the interest of both of our investors, as well as the viability of the tenancies that we do have. If you have any questions or anything related to rent collection or anything about your property, please reach out to client services and our team would be happy to help.